So Candace says, I am constantly taking screenshots on my phone of different social posts for future inspiration. I would like to be able to share those with my VA and then would like her to organize by topic like fall, holiday, et cetera. Then I would like her to create posts that are branded to me with those ideas along with the caption. So then we can go through those and see if there's a way to make the posts our own without copying anyone. Here's where I need suggestions. What is an organized way to number one, create the posts? Number two, have the caption saved with the post. And then three, organize and name it in a way to be able to create a content calendar knowing what we have for future use. Hope that's not too confusing. I know it in my head, but I can't seem to get it out correctly. Idea example, original screenshot with caption, save to Canva, first page original post with caption in the notes, add a page with our brand and post and post new caption and notes. Then the inspiration post and caption can be deleted, saving only what we can then use. Um, so this is what everybody looks like right now. I'll show you this in action, but I'm also gonna tell it to you here, okay? So I don't know if you're using Trello, but even if you're not, I'm gonna go through this because it's awesome. All right, so what I would do is create an inspo card on Trello. Find the email address for that card. And every time you screenshot, because I'm thinking, I'm always thinking, what is the most frictionless way for me to get a piece of information to my team, okay? With the least amount of explanation, like, right? Because if you have to download it and then you have to email it as an attachment, even if you Voxer it, Voxer, it is, Voxer is actually not a great way to share images. It drives me nuts. Sometimes they go through, sometimes they don't. So it's like, what is the most frictionless way to do this? So um, what is so cool about Trello, and you can do this at Evernote as well, and probably in Asana and everything else for that matter. You can email directly your screenshot directly to your Trello board or a specific Trello card. You could email um, a screenshot directly to your Evernote into an Evernote notebook. You could, um, I have automation set up so that whenever there's a PayPal receipt, it automatically goes to a certain folder in my Evernote, Evernote notebook for PayPal receipts. I mean, there is no end to the cool automations that you could do, but we're going to focus on this right now. So let me pull up the board, the Trello board that we need so I can show you this in action. Okay. So this is a content calendar that we actually use. And as you can see, we've got every day of the week and we've got our posts here. And the post has the blurb and all of that. And you have access to this. We have a, a content planner Trello board in Front Row VIP and in Front Row CEO. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a card and we're going to call this Inspo, okay? And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the card and we're going to go down here where it says share. And then right there, you see where it says email for this card. Can y'all see that? Okay. And um, we're going to copy that. Okay. The next thing we are going to do, you are never going to remember that email address in a thousand years because it was really long and ugly. So we're going to go to contacts in Google. Okay. That's contacts.google.com. This is for our Gmail users. And then right there, we're going to click we're on the top left, we're gonna click create contact, create a contact. And now we're gonna call it inspo. And I did this earlier, so I hope I don't mess myself up by a duplicate contact, inspo. I'm gonna call it inspo too, just so I know I get the right one. And then the company I'll put Trello content calendar. And then I'm gonna paste that email address that we just grabbed. Okay, then we're gonna click save. Okay, now I want you to watch this board because from my phone, I'm gonna do this because that's where we normally do our screenshots, right? So I'm gonna go into my phone and I'm just cruising around Facebook and I see a really cool piece of content and I'm just gonna grab something. I see something cool. Okay, good, here's something. Okay, so I'm gonna screenshot it. I'm screenshotting on my phone. 
and then I am now going to email it. And in my email, I'm going to start typing inspo and it pops right up. Okay. That address, because I just added it to my contacts, it popped right up in my email when I started typing in inspo. Inspo two. And then here's another thing you can do in the subject line or in the um in the body of anything that you send to this, that's going to create the, the words that are in the card. So I'm going to type in here, hey, isn't this awesome? Let's, let's do this. Okay, now I'm going to send it. And there it is. You see it? It just popped right here on Inspo. So if you have one column um, that is just, or, or sorry, one card that is just for inspo. And you just constantly, every time you need something, you find something that you want to copy or you want to, you know, that you're inspired by, you can just email it over here. The other thing that you're going to want to do is have a template. So do you see right up here where this says this card is a template? So if we click into that, there's checklists for everything that needs to happen with a piece of content that goes in here, like all the different graphics we want created and where it gets published, okay? And then we can create a card from this template for whatever piece of content we're creating, okay? From there, so I don't think, I don't think um, when you were saying like, where should it go? I think it should just all go here as well as all the content that's going to get posted. Okay. It all goes on your Trello board. However, you said, where should the content get created? So I think the content gets created in Canva and there's nice folders in Canva as well. You could create folders. Um, if you, you said you wanted to organize things by holiday or by season, for example, well, you could do that. I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever. You could create your your list to be Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, whatever you want. But what I'm trying to show you is that when we're working with screenshots, we want the most frictionless way. Like we could also save it to a Google folder, but that requires 14 steps. Even if you automate it, like I do love an automation that we have where every time we plop something, so whenever I record a podcast and I put it in the raw audio file for my podcast editor, we have a Zapier set up so that he automatically gets a notification. He gets an email that says, there's a new episode in there. Mm. I love that, right? But for something like this, there's gonna be so much of it. I think it, you can put your hands on it. You can move it over as you need to, as it gets processed. And um, it's just super easy this way, it's super organized. On that template, what you might wanna do, Candace, is like, I get what you're saying, like there might be a lot of explanation or some explanation because like that graphic that I just shared, you might simply say, I love the cover of that book. I love the font. I love this color orange. I love everything about this. Let's do a version of this for us, right? Like, so when you send it, before you send it, you have the opportunity to type that with the image. It will sit with the card and then your VA has a template. So they know exactly what needs to happen from that point forward. You just have to figure that out one time and, you know, you're going to have to judge it as new, new things arise. But then she could go in or they could go into Canva, do what they need to do, but then that needs to get moved back over into Trello. And then on your meetings, your weekly meetings, you'll review the content that they created for the upcoming week, for example. I'm just trying to keep this as sort of like simplified in my explanation as possible. It could get pretty hairy, but I think it, it can be pretty simple. Does that make sense to you, Candace? Yes, it does. Thank you. I I've just been saving so many for so long. And then all of a sudden I was like, okay, we need to figure out how to make this work where we can actually use this and I can quit 
doing all these screenshots and just having 10,000 photos on my phone. Um, so, well, well, <clears throat> so you don't want to have one card that has, you know, 400 vote, 400 things on there, right? Like that could get kind of awful too. So what you could do is, you know, make, make those categories that you talked about. So now when you get the screenshot off your phone and over onto Trello, maybe it's a catalog that is organized by seasons and holidays and that sort of thing, you know? Because I mean, you can also set up an automation so it does go into a Google Drive folder, but I just think that's a little bit more cumbersome because we put stuff in there and then we never go back and look at it. Whereas on Trello, it's very easy to thumb through it like a catalog. Right. You know, because the image- I could do like a zap um, too. I'm sure there's a zap of some sort. We'll look into that. <clears throat> and the I know that there's thing, a lot of them but, that I don't even need, but it, it was just like something that, oh, I saw that. And I'm like, that would be such, if I could just change it, it'll be such a, a great thing for me. Um, so, because I hate creating content. I just... <laughs> okay, but but there, there's things like zap built into Trello too. So for example, right here, you see where it says automation? When a card is added to the list, add an action. Mm -hmm. We can um, move the card to whatever. You can tag someone. You can add a, you can create a custom rule, add a trigger. So do you see all these triggers? Yes. So you have a lot of options here. And that, I mean, that's, that's perfect going forward. Um, thinking about just what I already have with it trying to be simple. That's, that's the one thing I don't want it to be difficult. And that's trying to simplify it has been, that's been the hardest part. So going forward, that that's an awesome idea. And that works perfectly. But it was just, and I've even thought about that over the weekend. I was like, well, I could just put all these in Trello and then we can try to go from there. Jen, can I ask a question? Sure. Candace, you mentioned that what Jen is showing you, you can see that working forward for you. Mm -hmm. But your other question is, what do you do with the bulk of the ones on your phone now? Can yes. I make a suggestion about that? Yes. Of course. It's on your cell phone, right? Yes. Well, I've moved it to a Google folder right now. Mm -hmm. So the problem is not that it's still on your on your phone. Right. It's, it's on the Google, it's on my Google Drive, but now it's, now it's, let's figure out how to organize that going forward. Mm -hmm. I would set up some folders, subfolders within that folder with the, the topics that you mentioned, holidays, whatever, and then on a downtime, take ten, five or 10 minutes and literally drag over to where you want them and then hand that full, share that folder the, the top folder with your VA. Okay. And, and, yeah, and, that, and that's kind of what we've been doing. I just, I was like, is there anything that's going to be more simple? But that's, that's what we've been doing with the, with the bulk of it. Yeah. Sounds like you got it covered. <laughs> Thank you. I was just looking for something better. <laughs> well, hopefully this is a solution for you. We, it works for us because we do it all the time as well. Like we'll look at, um, we'll go to Facebook ads, the Facebook ads library and look at like, the ads that Marie Forleo is running, right? Because, you know, they're spending all this money on, you know, these design teams and let's see, they're spending more money than I am is the point. So well, let me see what they're doing because that means it's probably working. And then we take those, I don't even actually have, I don't even send them anymore. Nika and, and Malou will go and find this stuff on their own and our, and our ads manager will do this and then bring it over into the Trello board and then riff on it and make it ours. So, you know, like I might have a bright yellow background behind me with a white outline around my head. You know, we did that one time. Or we'll see certain types of carousels that they'll do in Instagram. So those get screenshot, stuck on the Trello board, reimagined for our brand, and then stuck actually into the content calendar where it belongs. 